Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking, Trump deploys 100 fighter jets to surround North Korea, this is not a drill. In response to Kim Jong-un's blatant escalations towards war, President Donald Trump has just ordered 100 nuclear bombers to be sent to bases surrounding North Korea. They don't stand a chance. The U.S. has upped their production of F-35 bomber jets, and is sending dozens of the nuclear-capable high-tech jets to allies such as South Korea and Japan. Kim Jong-un, of course, likely isn't very happy about this, but that's what you get when you poke the most patriotic president since Reagan. This move comes in the wake of Kim Jong-un just launching a missile over Japan, which is a blatant threat. Silence's consent previously reported that the Pentagon has been investigating the brash move by North Korea's military, and Japan has finally put their foot down. Popular Mechanics Reports By the early 2020s, the United States and its allies in the Pacific plan to have more than 100 stealthy F-35 Joint Strike Fighters stationed near North Korea, according to Aviation Week. Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121 the Green Knights, were the first squadron of F-35s sent to the Pacific Theater. They are currently deployed to Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni in Japan, and the jets participated in training exercises in South Korea in March. Dozens of F-35 squadrons are to follow. The Air Force is preparing to station the F-35s of the 34th Fighter Squadron out of Hill AFB Utah, in the Pacific region in the coming months. Japan will receive 38 of its 42 planned F-35s starting this year, and F-35 deliveries to South Korea will begin next year, as the first South Korean aircraft just hit the Lockheed Martin assembly line in Fort Worth, Texas. The stealthy F-35 Lightning II, with a top speed around Mach 1.6, is simply beyond North Korea's ability to oppose. The stealth multirole jet which has a max speed of 1,200 miles per hour, is the most advanced and expensive fighter jet in U.S. history. With 100 of these technologically superior, highly mobile stealth jets ready to destroy North Korea with over 9 tons of weapons payload per plane, you can bet that Kim Jong-un is shaking in his boots. Aviation Week, a multi-channel service provider with connections to numerous military databases, reports the following. Without assistance from China or Russia, North Korea would stand no chance of defending against a wave of low-observable Joint Strike Fighters, which would be used to clear the air of opposing jets, hunt down rogue missiles, and protect advancing ground troops. The stealth jets would be virtually unopposed by Pyongyang's outdated inventory of former Soviet and independently developed radars and surface-to-air missiles. While North Korea does have a relatively large army in terms of active personnel, their technology is in the Stone Age compared to ours. Their struggling country can only afford a roughly $3 billion dollar a year budget for their military, and with Trump's recent sanctions, that should dwindle to around $1 billion per year. Compare this to the United States and our unrivaled dollar $500 plus billion dollars a year spent on maintaining a technological edge on our opponents, and there's not a snowball's chance in hell that Kim Jong-un will make it out alive.